Well, hello again and welcome back all my loyal YouTube subscribers and thanks once more for returning to Classic Dirt Bike TV. Now this next featured video is actually a bike I've featured before here on my channel, though it's such a uh, nice looking machine and has been restored to a very high quality finish, so uh, I thought it was worthy of a second look on my video channel. So please uh, stay tuned as we check out uh, Mike George's lovely 1965 250 MX3 Greaves Challenger. Now the story of this particular Greaves bike uh, actually dates back many years when Mike started uh, racing this machine when he was only 18 years old. Anyhow, after uh, many years of racing the bike, Mike then decided to dismantle the entire machine, place all the parts into boxes, and he then threw the boxes in his attic at the top of the house where it then lay for the next 40 years. So anyhow, fast forward many years and after the old Greaves parts had spent most of their lives gathering dust in Mike's attic, uh, the interest in uh, Mike's old race bike was then rekindled when he found that a friend was selling some old Greaves Challenger parts and asked Mike if he was interested in uh, buying them, which of course he immediately said uh, yes. And uh, Mike thought that this would be a very good excuse to dig out the old parts of his race bike and do a full restoration on his greaves. Now first up the colour scheme for the frame uh, Mike told me was copied from an old picture that he'd seen of an Alan Clough greaves from the 1960s and it was Mike's friend Chris Jinn who just happened to be a friend of the late uh, Dave Bickers who did all the frame painting to match the colours of these original uh, bikes. Now the original Greaves engine, as you'd expect, was very tired looking but uh, was still quite serviceable after it had undergone a full restoration with new bearings, gaskets and of course a rebore and a new piston kit. Now a new gearbox main shaft had to be made due to the engine's original uh, being uh, too badly worn, although uh, most of the other parts of the gearbox were okay to uh, reuse after refurbishment and then uh, reinsertion back into their respective casings. But essentially these uh, Greaves Challenger 250 motors were uh, very reliable and uh, fitted with these uh, Albion uh, gearboxes. These uh, also were uh, quite sturdy and uh, could handle most of what uh, the 1960s uh, could throw at them on a motocross track. Now during the restoration, uh, Mike also took the opportunity to upgrade the ignition to a more uh, modern electronic system to make the motor a bit easier to start and uh, of course keep it uh, more reliable. Now during the rebuild, uh, Mike uh, kept the bike's original Amal uh, monoblock carburetor, although in actual fact more than 80% of this bike's original parts uh, were reused and then uh, put back on the greaves of course after major and lengthy uh, refurbishment was uh, carried out. Now these MX3 250 Challengers had this uh, very unique box section alloy I-beam uh, front frame down tube which was a quite radical idea for its time in 1965 although it uh, was very strong and very light and by all accounts worked well when it was connected to the rest of the front suspension unit. Now the MX3's front suspension was another piece of Greaves ingenuity and this banana style leading link front fork suspension although looked a bit weird actually worked quite well in a racing uh, situation. Now when it came to the bike's front suspension units, Mike still has the original girdling uh, suspension uh, for this bike but uh, has uh, elected to use a pair of these British made rock shocks which are uh, equally if not better than the basic dampers that would have been fitted in 1965. 
Now the bike's front and rear brake hubs are the original 1965 parts that have been serviced and cleaned up. Now the front and rear wheels again are the 1965 original steel wheels, although these were then relaced with uh, brand new heavy duty stainless steel spokes as the old originals were quite weak and brittle and not really uh, safe to use on an old motocross racer. Now just before all my more knowledgeable YouTubers start shouting at their devices telling me that this is not the right expansion pipe for this bike, you'd be absolutely correct, it isn't uh, the right expansion chamber, although uh, Mike actually made this pipe himself as the MX3's original exhaust was uh, receiving uh, renovation work at the time we took these pictures and uh, Mike needed an exhaust on the bike uh, quickly so he could uh, race the machine at this uh, particular Scrambles event. Although by the time you're looking at these uh, pictures the original pipe will almost certainly now be back on the bike in its rightful place. Now the handlebars are another item that's maybe not right on this uh, Greaves bike but again the owner uh, swapped the Greaves originals for uh, this pair of uh, more modern uh, rental bars and this was done purely because uh, these bars suited his riding position better although he still has the original uh, Greaves uh, parts in his possession. But as I remember, uh, these were fiberglass fuel tanks on these 65 MX3s and as far as I'm aware this is still the original item fitted to Mike's bike, although naturally it's now been uh, fully refurbished and repainted to fit in with the rest of the restoration. Now the bike seat again was uh, completely stripped and recovered. Although uh, those guys that rode these old Greaves bikes uh, back in the 1960s uh, never really had much in the way of padding and uh, with that limited suspension travel at the rear it must have been a very bumpy ride that's for sure. Of course as you'd expect on a motocrosser from 1965 the bike's front and rear mudguards were basically it shot to pieces after many years of track abuse. So a new set of these remanufactured replacement parts were then sourced, uh, painted and then refitted to the bike. But the entire project from start to completion uh, took Mike nearly three years to finish although he wasn't uh, working on the bike every other weekend you understand due to running his uh, busy engineering business and other family commitments. But nevertheless, this is still a very good restoration of what was uh, essentially a very quick motorcycle from 1965. But back in their heydays of the 1960s, these old 250 Challengers were still great bikes to ride on the track and more often than not they would beat many of the bigger British four-stroke machines that they raced against at these uh, British Scrambles events, mainly due to the Challenger of course being uh, much lighter and more nimble and uh, easier to throw around. And so there you have it, another very quick look around Mike George's 1965 MX3 250 Greaves Challenger. Now don't forget if you like what you see here on my channel and would like even more of the same then please take the time to subscribe. Okay coming up next on my channel more archive racing footage from the many years of the superb Kendall Classic Nostalgia Scramble. So once again thanks very much for watching and we'll speak again soon right here on Classic Dirt Bike TV.